So before I get into this, I have to say, this isn't a season of American Horror Story that I ever thought will either happen or I even really wanted to happen. But this is something a lot of people in the comment section have been talking about over the last month or two and how they would really like to see it. And I thought, you know, why not just explore it? So what would American Horror Story Shipwreck or American Horror Story Cruise or American Horror Story Bermuda Triangle or whatever they're going to call it actually be like? Let's jump into it. Okay, so before I start talking about all the cool and scary stuff they can pull from real life or just conspiracy theories for this season of American Horror Story, I just have to say the one big reason I don't want to see it is because we're looking at American Horror Story, right? We have to have some tangible connection to a land-based story, and if it's all taking place on a ship, even though that is definitely in there in terms of really scary environment. Uh, I just don't really see it happening. Now, maybe that's why a lot of people want to see kind of a shipwreck season where people are actually on land, at least for some part of the show, and we get to really build up from leaving on the ship to the shipwreck. You know, that's how a lot of the scary stuff takes place, and then wherever they end up is also very scary for various reasons. Uh, there's a lot of ideas there. So, I don't really think we're ever going to see this season, first of all. I mean, just doing a cruise ship storyline with water and everything else is going to be incredibly expensive. It's really expensive to either fake or film on the water in a ship-like environment. So yeah, I don't really know. I mean, we're just gonna have to wait and see, but there is a lot of fun and very horrific stories and ideas that they can draw on in this season. So. I mean, okay, here's my pitch for it from what I've gotten from comments and just everyone throwing their ideas at me over the last month or two. And as I said, this isn't really my idea. I'm taking a lot from the comment section. I'm going to put a couple up on here. There's a lot of detailed ones. There's a lot of really less specific ones just like, oh, I'd really like to see this. So I do think one of the things that they need to do if they're going to tell this story is you need to introduce your characters and set up the concept of a cruise or set up an idea that they're going to go on vacation or something and they're taking a boat ride. And, and then of course, one of the things that they could do easily enough and enough people would recognize it is just doing the Bermuda Triangle and that's where they get lost or they lose connection with people on the land and then they get completely shipwrecked. The Bermuda Triangle is also one of the things they could do to help connect it to the aliens from Asylum, which I've always really wanted to see them re-explore and I think a lot of people would also really like to see them re-explore explore that. Of course, you could also bring in mermaids, which have a long-standing history to really horrific events, and maybe they are humanoid creatures, but more scary than just simply good guys or good creatures or something like that. And then maybe the mermaids and their connections with the aliens could be something that drives the rest of the season. Of course, once they get into the Bermuda Triangle and the ship actually wrecks, they end up on an island. And then obviously you would have these people who survived the shipwreck be confronted with probably a tribe of lesser developed human beings, maybe more cannibalistic, and then you actually have them having to fight their way off. And of course, this tribe would also have these weird religious beliefs and everything, which you could bring in ghosts or maybe some kind of magic creatures or something else like that. The mermaids can always come back, especially if they're on the island or maybe aliens are involved somehow. I mean, there's just a lot of ideas that you can jump off of when it is this shipwreck idea. So, you know, even as I'm talking about it, I'm thinking, yeah, like, you know, this would actually work. A lot of people have been saying that this could work for a long time. I mean, this is probably one of the most hotly debated and suggested season topics for American Horror Story since it started. And it's weird because now that I'm really thinking about it and talking about it with you guys, I totally see it. I understand exactly what you're talking about. So yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot of fun that you could have with this season. More specifically, I think having it be from whatever they start off at to a ship to an island 
there's enough change in location to keep it interesting. I know a lot of people don't like Roanoke, but I really do like Roanoke because halfway through that season, it changes up its entire formula and then we're watching something almost completely different and scary for a completely different reason. Not a lot of seasons in American Horror Story have done that, and I think it's one of the things that kept Roanoke really fresh throughout that entire show. I mean, you can look at other things like, yeah, Colt just kind of escalated, right? But it got more and more explanatory as it went along, so it became less scary and more just interesting as it went along. At the same time, I think American Horror Story Apocalypse did that as well, where you started off very intriguing, what is going on, super mysterious, different various locations, but then we knew we were going to be in this outpost for the vast majority of it, and then we just kind of went off into this huge flashback stretch, you know, with multiple episodes, and that, you know, at a certain point you're just telling the story and you're not trying to be horrific. If we have enough change in location, which is what this season could actually give us, I think people would be a lot more interested in it, so yeah. Guys, you've convinced me. <laughs> I've convinced myself, but basically everyone throwing this idea out there, y'all have convinced me. You know what? Let's turn this video, the comment section below, let's turn it into the discussion of everything that we want to see from American Horror Story Shipwreck or American Horror Story Cruise or American Horror Story Bermuda Triangle or whatever you really want to call it. Let's really discuss it. And as I said, this would be a really good way of bringing in the aliens and helping explain that story just a little bit more and really explaining things, maybe even bringing supernatural stuff, ghosts, witches, some kind of power, mermaids. I mean, there's a lot of horrific things in history that you can really latch onto to tell this story in the right way. Of course, as I said, it would be probably the most expensive American Horror Story season which is probably one of the reasons they're not going to do it. Anyway, guys, hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell over by the subscriber button to notify you every single time I upload. And everybody who wants to continue talking about American Horror Story, various different ideas for American Horror Story, or The Walking Dead, or box office stuff, anime stuff, anything horror movie related, or any movie related topic whatsoever, then make sure to jump down in the description section below Hit that link and go follow me on Twitter. It's so much easier to talk to you guys on Twitter than it is on YouTube. I mean, YouTube's notification policies are usually pretty wonky, and I don't always get to see anybody replying to any reply that I put out there, or you guys don't always get to see that, that I actually replied to a comment, and I get a lot of people saying I don't, but I really do. I do try to read and respond to as many as possible. So I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. It's been real.